Hello everyone, I'm Onur Dizal from Imperial College of London. Today I'm going to present you our work titled Rate Splitting Multiple Offsets for Downlink Multi-Antenna Communications, Physical Layer Design and Link Level Simulations. I will first start with a brief introduction and some background information on rate splitting multiple axes. Then I will give the physical layer design and the link level simulation results. Multi-user MIMO has been a key technology to meet the demand for increasing data rate and accessibility in emerging communication systems. The most common form of multi-user MIMO is space division multiple access. STMA relies on the near linear precoding to separate user streams at the transmitter. At the receiver side, any multi-user interference is treated as a noise. Therefore, STMA suffers from severe performance degradation under interference due to imperfect CSIP. Another method to perform multi-user communications in MIMO settings is non-orthogonal multiple access, which is based on superposition coding at the transmitter and successive interference cancellation at the receivers. In NOMA, one user fully treats interference as noise, while the other user fully decodes the interference and performs cancellation to decode its own message. It has been shown that NOMA suffers from significant degree of freedom loss in multi-antenna unless user channels are aligned and have a disparity of strengths. A new technology rate splitting multiple access relies on linearly pre-coded rate splitting at the transmitter and SIC at the receivers. Our SMS splits the messages into common and private parts at the transmitter side. Each user partially decodes the interference and partially treats it as noise. It has been shown that RSMA achieves entire DOF region for K user MISO broadcast channels with imperfect CSAT. The performance of RSMA has been studied under the idealistic assumptions of Gaussian signaling and infinite block lines. In this work, we design a physical layer architecture for RSMA with finite constellation modulation schemes, finite length poly code and an adaptive modulation and coding algorithm. We compare the sum rate and throughput results by link level simulations to demonstrate the performance of RSMA in practical systems and settings. And we also showed that RSMA achieves significant throughput gain over STMA and NOMA under imperfect CSAT. We consider a MISO BC channel with two users and an arbitrary number of transmit antennas. The channel consists of CSIT and channel estimation error components. The variance of the channel estimation error unit is inversely proportional with the total transmit power P, which is scaled by a CSIT called scaling factor. We assume perfect CSI at the receivers. The RSMA performs rate splitting at the transmitter by splitting the messages of the users into common and private parts. Split messages the common parts are combined into a single common message. Then the single common message and the private messages are encoded into separate streams, and the transmit signal is obtained by performing pre-coding over the streams. At the receiver side, the users perform SIC by first decoding the common stream and treating the private streams as noise. After cancellation, each user decodes its own private stream by treating the interference from the other user's private streams as noise. The instantaneous rate at each user can be written accordingly by considering the private streams as the interference term in their expressions. We consider a pre-coded design for ergodic sum rate maximization. For the problem of maximizing the ergodic sum rate, the, an equivalent problem of maximizing the average sum rate is solved by the average weighted MMSC approach, which is then solved by the alternating optimization algorithm. We should note that we use a quality of service constraint for each user in our optimization. This is the architecture that we propose for RSMA for two user scenario. With the transmitter we use, we use with interleave coded modulation with polar encoding. We use an the optimized precoders and an adaptive modulation and coding algorithm to select appropriate modulation schemes and the coding rates. At the receiver side, we use an SIC receiver with MMC equalization and successive cancellation list decoding for polar codes. 
The common stream in RSMA is decoded by treating the private messages as noise. And the rate of the common stream is the minimum rate of the common streams to each user to ensure successful decoding at all receivers. This can be considered as the maximum problem for broadcast channels. And a solution for this problem is to use a point-to-point -point coding scheme with the proper modulation and code rate to transmit at rates close to RC in a compound setting. The private streams, the streams are decoded by treating other private messages as noise. Therefore, we can directly use a point-to-point -point coding scheme, scheme to transmit at rates approaching RK to each user K. We consider polar codes in our architecture. The polar encoding operation can be represented by a vector, mat vector matrix multiplication form. The code length of the codes is represented by the capital N. The uncoded bit vector consists of the vector for information bits and the vector for the redundant or so-called frozen bits. The indexes of the K information bits is stored in the set A. So for encoding operation, the information bits are placed into this uh, vector UA and the frozen bits are placed into the vector UA complement. And these two vectors are passed through the generator matrix to obtain the code bit vector. For the channel coding for RSMA, we first determine information bit index sets for the common and private streams for given code block lengths and number of information bits. We split the user message bits into common and private parts and assume that these parts are independent. We encode the common messages by first appending the common parts of the user messages to obtain a single common bit vector. Then we place the common message bits into corresponding information bit vector in the uncoded bit vector. As an example, we consider the code block length of A for the common stream in the information bit locations 3, 5, 6, and 7. The appended message bits, the common message bits, is placed into the information bit locations directly without any specific ordering and then the encoded bit vector is multiplied with the generating matrix. The encoding of private messages is accomplished by the conventional polar coding operation using the corresponding block lengths, information bit lengths, and the information bit index sets. We consider bit interleaved coded modulation with gray mapping and random interleaving. We employ four 16, 64, and 256 QAM modulations. In order to choose from modulations and appropriate coding rates, we design an adaptive modulation and coding algorithm. Our aim is to maximize the throughput by selecting appropriate modulation and coding schemes for transmission. The AMC algorithm requires a channel link quote to assign the appropriate MCS under imperfect CSI. For this purpose, we use the average rates calculated by using the optimized precoders at the transmitter, which are averaged over channel errors and samples. We perform an energy backoff over the calculated rates to compensate for the negative effects of finite length, block, finite length coding and the coded modulation scheme and to reduce the error probability. The details on the code generation for polar codes and the AMC algorithm are given in the paper and omitted here due to limited time. We give the link level simulation results for the RSMA, STMA, and NOMA schemes for CSIT scaling quality factor uh, 0.6 without any quality of service constraint. We assign a back off value so that the Achieved block error rates are smaller, to po smaller than 0.1. A direct observation from the figure is that RSMA achieves higher sum rate and throughput with respect to STMA and NOMA. We can observe that the trends in the sum rate and the throughput match with each other for all schemes. In the second figure, 
we again with the same settings we add the quality of service constraint of 0.1 bits per second per hertz into the system we can observe that the sum rate of the and the throughput of uh, no rsma and norma do not change while the sum rate and throughput of stma reduces significantly an observation from the figures is that the throughput performance of STMA has a ten tendency to saturate at high SMR levels. This phenomenon occurs due to STMA switching to single user transmission to maximize its sum rates. In order to visualize, the, visualize this, we give an example for a specific channel estimate realization and demonstrate the rate allocations to each stream. For RSMA and NORMA, each stream is allocated at certain level of uh, power and transmission rate, while STMA only allocates power to a single stream to avoid interference and maximize sum rate. The maximum spectral efficiency of a single transmission in our system is 7.2 bits per second per hertz, which comes from the modulation order of 256 QAM and the maximum coding rate 0.9. Therefore, the rates allocated over this threshold causes saturation in the throughput, which is observed from the, in the figures that I have shown before. This shows that SDMA switches to single user transmission and cannot satisfy multi-user transmission if the maximum, if the sum rate is maximum. In conclusion, we design basic transmitter and receiver architectures for RSMA with finite constellation modulation schemes, polar cross and NIMC algorithm. We perform link level simulations using the design transceiver to analyze the throughput performances of RSMA, STMA, and NOMA under imperfect CSNT. The LLS results show that RSMA is more robust and achieves significantly higher throughput than STMA and NOMA with and without quality of service constraints. These are our references. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We welcome your questions and comments.